Hello. Welcome to this Visible Analyst how-to tutorial working with functional decomposition diagrams commonly referred to as FDDs. Here we have a new FDD diagram containing a number of functions, the square boxes, and processes, the rounded boxes. I'll add a new symbol to the diagram and I'll click OK. To exit drawing mode, I'll click the arrow on the toolbar. I accidentally added a process where a function should be. So rather than deleting the symbol, I'll right mouse click to show the object menu, choose change item, and then click the change type button. This allows me to change the process symbol to a function symbol. When I click OK, I now have the function symbol here. You notice that the symbol has been colored yellow as a default option. You can color the symbols individually or in this case you can grab a group of symbols and color them all at once. So holding down the shift key on the keyboard I click on all of the function symbols. I go to options, colors, and for the symbol background color, I'll choose a light blue. Click OK. All the symbols have been colored blue. I'll perform the same action for the processes, but in this case, I drag the mouse to encase the processes in a bounding box, right mouse click, and choose colors from the object menu. And here I'll have the processes colored yellow. Another feature of the Visible Analyst is the ability to use that bounding box that we drew to snap the symbols horizontally and vertically. So here I drew a bounding box around the symbols. I right mouse click within the bounding box and I choose snap symbols. The symbols are now horizontal. I can do the same thing vertically by dragging the mouse drawing a bounding box. I can also access the snap symbols from the diagram menu, choose snap symbols, and they're aligned again. When I go to draw a line on this particular diagram, I can draw individual lines between the symbols. Now in most cases, symbols on a diagram are labeled, except in the case of the functional decomposition diagrams, we don't label those diagrams. An easy way, instead of drawing lines from the Department of Motor Vehicles function to each one of its sub-functions, I can again hold the shift key down, draw a bounding box, and use the connect function to connect the lines and have the visible analyst automatically draw the lines for me. Let me save the diagram. And now we can analyze the diagram to make sure that it is correct. On the diagram menu, I choose Analyze. For the current diagram, the syntax check. Click OK. And I see I have a number of errors here and two warnings. One, the issue license is a dangling process. And both of these processes are not used on a data flow diagram. So let me cancel this draw a bounding box, use the connect function, and now when I perform the analyze again, I should only have those two warnings that the processes are not used on a data flow diagram. There's a relationship between the functional decomposition diagram and the data flow or process diagram. Within the visible analyst, you can right mouse click on a function and choose to spawn a new data flow diagram set. For each level of the processes drawn on the functional decomposition diagram, the visible analyst will create a new diagram for each level of these processes. So let me go back, right mouse click, choose spawn, new DFD set. I see that two processes will be added to the data flow diagram. 
I've already created a context level diagram in this project so I select that as the parent diagram click OK to update the DFDs and here I have the updated process symbol on now the data flow diagram. This was a quick overview of some of the features for the functional decomposition diagrams. Please see the online help system and the tutorial FDD chapter for more information. Thank you.